Welcome. This video is going to give you a walkthrough of using BigBlueButton as an instructor. When BigBlueButton first comes up, you'll see the main presentation area. This is where you'll interact most with the content and the students will see your content as you share it. To the left is the public chat and to the left of that is the user list where you'll see the students join. Let's start off with the basics, sharing audio and video. When you come into BigBlueButton, just click the join audio button. You'll see there's an option to join microphone, listen only, choose microphone, Echo, echo, echo. You'll notice there was an echo test there. I could hear myself to make sure that my students could hear my audio clearly. When speaking, you'll notice that any user who's generating audio has their name appeared. So let's see what happens when another student joins. So here are students joining. Notice their avatar is a circle, which means they're a viewer. And let's see what happens when they start talking. There, their name highlights. So even if there are like 50 or 100 students in your session, you will always be able to see who's generating audio by just seeing the names highlight. You also have a shortcut to mute somebody. So if somebody's talking, you can just click their name and then they'll immediately mute themselves. Very easy to do. If you ever wanna mute yourself, just click on the microphone icon, you can mute, you can click it again to unmute. And if you ever wanna leave the audio or adjust your settings, you can click here and choose leave audio. The next is sharing webcams. It has its sound. You click share webcam and a preview will come up showing you your webcam. You have some choices in terms of like the quality, just leave it as medium. And you can also choose a background image. Here I'll choose a chalkboard and I'll click start sharing. So a big blue button will share your webcam with students. They'll see a blur background and as the students join, you can see them as well. You also have the ability to change the layout as well. So here I can move it around. And in terms of the layouts, you can manage the layout. You can promote the layout to other students. So here you could say, oh, let's just focus on webcams for a moment. You click grid layout and you choose update everybody everybody will see the grid layout. I have the ability to hide the user list and chat. And now we're kind of like in a grid view. I can bring it back, public chat. And let's say I would like to see everybody go back to just a normal layout. I can click custom layout and I can choose update everybody. And now we're back to where we were before. If you ever want to stop sharing webcams, you can just click stop sharing. And the same thing with the students. Cool. In the presentation area, you'll notice that I've got a default slide. You'll always have a default presentation when it starts up. And you'll notice there's some whiteboard controls. Big Blue Button has a built-in, really powerful whiteboard for enabling you to annotate your content. So I'll show you some examples. Here, if I click the uh, pen tool, I can click and draw on the areas. Maybe I want a different style. I also have the ability to erase. So here I can click the eraser. And I can also click the pointer tool to point. Students will see what I'm pointing at. And I can click and drag. And I can choose content and I can move it around. Or I can click the trash to erase it. Pretty simple, it's even easier. Uh, instead of actually even clicking here, I can just use keyboard shortcuts. So if you move over, you see it says draw two. If I hit the two, I can draw. If I hit three, I can erase. And if I hit one, I can do the point. So by just doing one, two, three, I can quickly point, I can draw on content and I can erase it really quick. You can also share your screen in BigBlueButton. To share your screen, click on the share screen button. You can share different Chrome tabs, you can share different windows, or you can share the entire screen. If you had multiple monitors, they appear here. Just click on the thumbnail that you want to share, then click share. Your students will now see your screen and you're sharing the entire screen. So here, if I click, I can actually go to maybe a different tab. Students will see what you're viewing on your screen. If I click, I can go back at any time and click stop sharing. When you upload slides to BigBlueButton, the whiteboard will give you more means for engagement. To upload slides, I can click on the actions, upload manage presentations, here I can choose browse for files. I'm gonna choose a portrait presentation. Normally you would probably choose landscape, but I'll choose you portrait to show you how you can interact with it with the whiteboard as well. So when you upload, it converts it and now it's visible. To make it easier for students to see the portrait, you can click fit to width. And now if I click the hand, I can drag up and down. Again, students see exactly what I'm looking at. There's also a shortcut if I hold down the space bar. I get to use the drag tool so that I can actually move it around easily as well. Let's upload another presentation. Here I'm going to upload a slide deck. The advantage of using the presentation is not only you have the whiteboard, but it's very efficient in terms of bandwidth. Once the student has downloaded the current slide, they don't need to download it again. It's not like you're sharing a video or you can't annotate anything. You actually have full annotation capabilities of your slides and it's very efficient. 
It's also very easy to move back and forth between slides. Here you can just click on the plus sign, I can go back to the portrait slide, or I can go back to the slide that just uploaded. You can also navigate through your slides as well, just choose the index. You notice as the instructor I have the whiteboard, but the students have the whiteboard as well. Here there is a button that lets you turn on multi-user whiteboard, and it's as it sound. So if I click here, you'll now notice that the students can move the mouse around as well. And you will see all the pointers for all the students. So this gives you a way to do visual assessment. They can draw. So here, let's say if I ask the student, can you circle Australia? Okay. They can interact as well. So you can use this for collaborative whiteboards, group discussions. There's a sticky notes. So the students can click on a sticky note and place first. And again, the blue button is multi-user. So as they type, you can see a type as well. If you want to prevent students from writing on the whiteboard, you can just click it, turn off multi-user whiteboard, and then you can erase the content as well. A very powerful way of engagement is having the students point out items and they can't see what other students are doing. So to show you this, I'm gonna introduce the lock settings. So the lock settings are as they sound. You can use this to lock down share webcams, lock down microphones. This enables you to control what students can do in the session. It's a form of classroom management. I'm gonna draw your attention to the bottom two where you can see other viewers' cursors and see other viewers' annotations. So once I do this and turn on multi-user, if there were 20 students in the session, so now if I just asked, can you point at Australia, you as the instructor would see everyone's pointers, but they couldn't see each other. You can apply this to any presentation. It could be a diagram, a map, shape of a tree, whatever would make sense, and it's a really easy way to do visual assessment. And as before, you can just click to turn it off. There are many ways to engage with students. Polling is an example. To start a poll, you can click plus, choose start poll. The polling panel will appear. First option is you can choose whether you want to write a question or not. I'll say, have you visited Australia before? And I could just say uh, true false. There's other preset options here. It'll show you the two choices that are made. I can add other items. I can make the poll anonymous. But in this case, I'll just say true false, start poll. Students will then respond and you will see the responses in real time as they do it. At any point you can cancel or you could choose publish poll. The poll will publish to the public chat, which is right here. And it will also publish to the presentation area. When it publishes to the presentation area, it's just whiteboard marks. So I can hit three for the eraser and just erase the polls if I want. BigBlueButton has some really powerful ways to do polling. It's called Smart Slides. I'll show you some examples. BigBlueButton already has the text of the presentation of memory for screen readers. By doing so, it actually can detect if there's a poll question. So here I have a question, did Einstein discover the atom? But notice it has a text true false and that is enough for BigBlueButton to detect, hmm, you may be wanting to do a true false poll. So with that, I can just click this one button and it will pull the text out, give it to the user as a question, give them the option of doing true false as a poll response. So I didn't have to type anything in. One button click and here I can see the student responded and I can choose to publish it or I could just easily go on to the next slide. You also have the ability to do multiple choice. So here's a question, what rings of Saturn made of? Again, instead of typing this in, Big Blue Button has already detected that it looks like there's five poll responses. So if I click it, all the stu students see all the question with the five answers, and clearly the answer is gummy bears. So uh, good job. You can do multiple response polls. So here, because there was uh, two question marks, it was enough for Big Blue Button to pick up that, hey, in the polling choices, there are multiple responses. So here the students would see something that's giving them the ability to choose more than one. So again, the student responded to two choices, the next is you can actually have it do an open-ended question. So here, because there's only one question mark and no A, B, C, D, when I ask the students to respond, they actually get a dialogue box that comes up and says, just type in the answer. As Big Blue Button is doing these questions, it is keeping track for you of what students are doing. And you can see this in what we call the Learning Analytics Dashboard. So if I click here, so this gives you a live dashboard showing you how students are interacting with you in the session. There's a couple tabs at the top. You can see activity score. As the students interact, they generate more activity, a timeline showing the uploaded slides and any emojis that students did, and the polls. So here, you don't have to remember the polls. You can see the poll responses for all students. I'll go back to the presentation and I have an example of what polling responses might look like. So here, if I just zoom in a bit, and again, I'll hide. This is an example where if there were seven students, notice that Sam had only responded to three questions. Imagine you're in a class and you said, hey, Sam, it's really important to respond. Don't worry if you get it wrong. You'll learn by doing. 
If Samuel wasn't sharing their webcam, they'd be wondering like, how is it possible that the teacher's aware of me? Well, because you have actual data of what students are doing. You're not dependent on webcams. And that's the difference between BigBlueBud and other systems. We give you live analytics so you can see which students are struggling, so you can give them feedback in the moment. So lots of cool things you can do with slides. You can upload them, you can annotate them. The smart slides will pick up content, the learning analytics dashboard. Now let's talk a little bit more about other areas of BigBlueButton. You'll notice up here, you can start, stop recording. At any point in your session, if you wanted to record it, you click start recording. And I can also stop as well. You have the ability to choose during the session when you start and stop the recording. And at the end, any final recording available inside the LMS or whatever front end you're using, you'll see just those segments where you start and stop recording. Some more ways to interact with students. There is the public chat. So here I could say, welcome everyone. And as students respond, you'll see them typing the chat. And then you can tell if someone's in process of responding to you. If I click on their name, I can do start private chat. So now you can do a private chat one-on-one -on -one with students. Hope you enjoy the class. And the students can respond back in the private chat as well. Another word in the lock settings. When you do the lock settings, you have the ability to lock students from doing private chat. You have the ability to lock them from sharing their microphone, seeing other viewers, even sharing their webcam. And here, I'll show you the shared notes now. Go to the shared notes. You may use this to have students give you feedback in the class. And here you can see a student typing in. Very good. If you are in another uh, panel and something updates, either let's like get a private chat, you'll see a red dot next to it. You can see the student type something in the private chat and they can send uh, messages back and forth. If you lock the students, they can't do private chat with each other, but they can always do private chat with you. Students can also raise their hand as well. When students raise their hand, you'll see a dialogue box appear. When multiple students raise their hand, you'll see multiple icons and you can click on any one of them to lower the student's hand, or I can just click lower hands to lower all of them. As long as one student has raised their hand, this message will appear and make sure that you can never miss students who are raising their hand. There's also a reactions bar. So when clicked, it will stay up and you can do reactions as well as students. So here, if I click happy face, you'll see some animation. Click it again and you can see some animation. When you're presenting, you may want students to give feedback. So how did you like this segment? The students will see the animations as well. Let's talk about other ways to do engagement. Breakout rooms. To start a breakout room, click the gear icon next to the users list and choose create breakout rooms. When this comes up, you'll have the ability to choose a number of breakout rooms. You can drag students into the breakout rooms. You can choose the duration. This is changeable when you start the breakout rooms. You can allow students to choose which breakout room. And you can also have BigBlueButton automatically save the contents of the shared whiteboard and the shared notes when students finish in the breakout room. That content will come back to the main room. We'll show you how. So here I'm gonna choose these two. I put the student into room one and I click create. On their screen, they'll be offered to join the breakout room. When they join room one or when any students join, you'll see their names join here. You can send a message to everybody. I'm going to give you five minutes instead. Here, if I want, I can modify the duration. So here I'm gonna change it to, let's just say five minutes. When you're in the audio, you'll have the ability to just join the audio so you can come into the breakout room by audio, or you can fully join the room as well. Join the room opens it up in a new tab, joins you in the audio, and now you can interact with the students as well. There's the message that you sent a few minutes ago. They have the ability to take presenter control. They can write on the whiteboard. They can write in the shared notes. And here, for example, let's say summary of room one. And let's say they write in the shared notes. Cool. At any point, you can leave the breakout room. You just have to close the tab and leave it. Notice that the main tab is always open. Students can always come back to the main tab, raise their hand, type in a chat, and invite you to come to the breakout room and help them out. At any point, you can end the breakout rooms as well. So here, if I end all the breakout rooms, the students will come back in and Big Blue Button will start capturing the content in the breakout room and bring it back to the main room. Here, I didn't do any whiteboard, but we did do notes in breakout room one. And if I look here, there's the notes from breakout room one. And this is the content that was created in the, in the shared notes. So this is a really powerful way of getting students to go into breakout rooms. You can jump in, help them out. They can collaborate with the whiteboard, shared notes, and the collaboration that do in the breakout room comes back into the main room with Big Blue Button. Really cool. A couple other ways to share content with students. You can share an external video. So here I can just paste a link in, for example, to YouTube. 
This video will play on all the students' desktop. You can pause it, you can advance ahead. And then I can start the poll. To stop sharing the video content, just click again and say stop sharing external video. There are other ways to interact as well. You can select a random user. So in a class of 50 students, you could actually randomly select one and everybody will see the results, but nobody will know who's gonna be selected until you do it. For a bit of classroom management as well, there's a timer and stopwatch. And it is as it sounds. You could set a stopwatch, which will, when you start, it starts counting up. And if I want, let's say a timer, and I want it to set a time of one minute, I can start, and the timer will count down. When it finishes to zero, everyone will hear a sound, and you can click on it, you can pause it any time, and you can resume it. This will help you keep the class on target. At any point, you can just stop it. A few more tips. There's also settings, so you can choose to modify various settings for Big Blue Button. Most of them are default. For example, you can disable the self view in the camera if you don't want to see yourself. One I like is audio alerts and pop-up alerts. So if you want to have a audio alert when a user joins, you can click here and now when a new user joins, you'll hear an alert in the background. And lastly, there's two choices for the meeting. You can end the meeting. So as the instructor, you can end the session for everybody and that will finish the session, remove all the users, start the processing recording. You can also just leave the meeting, which everyone has the option to do. That's it. And that's an overview of BigBlueButton. It's designed to help you effectively manage your classroom with the lock settings, muting students, seeing who's talking, engage with them through multi-user whiteboards, share notes, polling, chat, breakout rooms, analytics to see who may be struggling in the moment so you're not relying on webcams, and then you can give them feedback to help them learn to improve the learning outcomes. BigBlueButton is designed for you to teach effective virtual classes and for the students to engage with you while you're doing so. We hope you enjoy it.